Hey people, it's me, Captain Random Video Clips here, and welcome to the next video. And today's video is a little golden book of DreamWorks Shrek. <clears throat> Adapted by K. Emily Hutta, illustrated by Obi Nadelsu. Far, far away, there lived an ogre named Shrek. Shrek's home sat in a stinky swamp many miles from the nearest neighbor. No one ever came to visit, so Shrek spent his days alone, which was just the way he liked it. <clears throat> Late one afternoon, Shrek was out in the forest when thump! A beast named Donkey crashed right into him. To Shrek's annoyance, Donkey started to talk and talk and talk some more. Shrek liked his uh, Shrek liked his privacy. So when a whole group of unruly fairy tale guests suddenly showed up, he bellowed what are you doing in my swamp? I didn't invite them, Donkey said. Lord Farquaad, ruler of Duloc, had chased all the fairy tale creatures from his kingdom. Shrek sat out to give Lord Farquaad a piece of his mind, and Donkey tagged along. Meanwhile, Lord Farquaad planned to marry the beautiful Princess Fiona. He held a grand tournament to find a champion to rescue her from her tower. When Shrek appeared at Farquaad's tournament, the ruler ordered his knights to fight Shrek instead. But they were no match for him. Impressed, Farquaad promised Shrek that he could have his quiet swamp back if he rescued the princess. Donkey did not like this quest one bit, but Shrek was determined to go, so Donkey followed him through smoky fields, across lakes of molten lava, into a dark castle high on the mountain, right into the lair of a fire-breathing dragon. See, that's that dragon right there. But, although, she's really nice to Donkey right, right now. Okay. With one flick of its mighty tail, the feisty flame-throwing dragon launched Shrek through the roof of the highest tower. Luckily, Shrek landed right next to Princess Fiona. There's Fiona. Let's go, Shrek said to the surprised princess. Donkey needed him. There was no way that Donkey could stand up to the giant dragon alone. Donkey indeed needed their help. Not because the dragon wanted to eat him, because but because she was in love with him. She, 
She didn't want to let Donkey go. Shrek was in no mood to argue. He grabbed Donkey with one hand and Fiona with the other, and they fled the castle. Princess Fiona was not at all happy to learn that Shrek's noble quest was really to save a stinky swamp and not her. Shrek had never met anyone like Fiona. In a lot of ways, she was just like him. Surprisingly, Fiona had begun to enjoy Shrek's company too, but she didn't think he could possibly feel the same way about her, so she continued on to Duloc to marry Lord Farquaad. Shrek stomped off to his swamp, sad and alone. Fare thee well, ogre. Donkey went to Shrek's swamp with the dragon to convince the ogre to go after the princess. Shrek realized he had made a terrible mistake. He had to tell Fiona how he felt before she married Lord Farquaad. Meanwhile, Fiona had a secret that would be revealed to the entire kingdom if the sun set before she received true love's first kiss. When Shrek arrived, she was bathed in a dazzling light. Then the light faded. She transformed into... A beautiful green ogress. Lord Farquaad was horrified. He wanted to, a picture-perfect princess for his picture-perfect kingdom, but Shrek had never been happier. When Fiona kissed Shrek, she once again disappeared into the br in, a, in a brilliant shower of light. Would the spell finally be broken? Would Fiona no longer have to transform into an ogress each night? There's Lord Farquaad right there. Yeah, too bad there's no dragon to eat him to death. Love this happy ending. As the light faded again, the crowd gasped. Fiona was still an ogress. I don't understand, Fiona said. I'm supposed to be beautiful. But you are beautiful, Shrek said. They were perfect for each other. On a quest to protect his peace and privacy, Shrek had found true love and friendship instead. The day Shrek and Fiona were married, the swamp overflowed with all their friends and lots of wonderful fairy tale creatures. Only this time, they had all been invited. Yep, indeed. They all lived happily ever after. The end. And that's the end of that story of Shrek. 
Please stay tuned for more videos coming to your future.